Hey guys, so this is what we're making today. We're using watercolors to create a pretty, pretty um, background. And then we're gonna write our names and make this beautiful, beautiful decoration for your room. You could put in a frame, you could mat it with uh, paper in the background. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're making today. And all you're gonna need is watercolors, a couple brush brushes, water, and paper. Okay guys, so let's start this. I'm using this watercolor paper. Um, you could use any kind of paper. I like watercolor paper because it's thicker and you wouldn't really have to frame it if you wanted to put it on your wall. Okay guys, so, oh, one more thing you're gonna need, a straw. Okay, so what you do is you pick your favorite colors. You can use all the colors if you want. Um, but I rather stay with one, I mean with three colors because it's easier and then it, it stays with your favorite colors kind of thing. So my favorite colors are green and blue and purple. But let's see what we do. Okay, so what I do is you could use, I mean I don't have a cup, but if you have a cup, put water and your paintbrush. Um, you're going to pick your color. Let's see. Let's pick green. That green. Okay. And I'm gonna add a little bit of water with my bot with my spray bottle. But again, if you have a paintbrush, dip it in water. Go in there, dip it in water until you have it all full of water, so it's ready. Then you're going to um, put a little circle. With water, make sure it's all full of water, kind of like a puddle. A big puddle. Well, not a big puddle, just a lot of water. If you need it, um, you could put a little water on some plastic surface and then tap your paintbrush and put more water. More water. And you don't need any fancy paintbrush, just any paintbrush that gets the paint into the pa onto the paper is good. Now you're going to grab your straw and this is the fun part watch the paint sorry for the noise and look isn't that cool oops i dropped my paints um let's pick maybe pink oops grab the wrong one maybe pink oh no i got it all mixed up that happens so just get the pink paint just put it clear I mean above it anywhere near it and again you just make sure it has a lot of water and then you're gonna blow again And if it's not going the way you want it, just switch the paper and blow the other way. There we go. And then we're going to pick one more color. And I like... I think I'm going to put yellow. And just put it near it. If you need more water, again, drip some on your table boil your plastic or just dip your paintbrush in your cup again I don't have a cup with me but we're gonna make it work okay now we're gonna dip this into there and if the colors mix that's perfectly fine that looks pretty cool now let's grab where's my straw oh there it goes and blow again and since it's not dark enough I could just go back and add more paint right where I had that circle more water if we have to and just blow okay so you're just going to keep going with those three colors try not to mix them up when you put your paintbrushes down because that's what I just did maybe add it right there grab some paint add it right there and then Blow. Then you're 
then grab the next color. Maybe put it right here. Grab your straw. Now let's do yellow one more time. And my yellow's full of um, green already, so it's gonna be kind of mixed. Just put something right there, grab some water, more paint. Let me do that. Okay, put your paintbrush down, grab your straw. And if it's not going the way you want it, and even if you switch it, just add more more water and just make a little lines where, the way you want it to go. Like right there. And blow again. Okay. And there we have it. Now, I'm going to let it dry. And then we'll come back to write a name. Okay. And I hope it's dry already. So we'll see how... I think it's dry. Okay. So what you could do while you let this dry, um, you could make more, you could add even more color to it and make it all full. Um, you can make some for your friends. You can make <laughs> for your whole wall. <laughs> Just make sure you ask your parents to help you put them on the wall or anything or ask them before you put them on the wall. Okay. So now um, what we're going to write is the name. And what I do, I just grab a paintbrush, any paintbrush, a thin, a small paintbrush will work. And most of the little Crayola um, sets of watercolors have a little paintbrush. And that's perfect. That's the one you could use. Um, then you're going to use a little bit of black or whatever color you like. I like to use black or a dark color. That way it stands out from the background. So that's what you guys could use. I am not good at writing or fancy letters, but I'm gonna make it work. I'm just gonna write it with my own writing, makes it mine. Okay, so now we're just gonna write out a name, and I am going to write my friend's name. We're gonna write a C R Y S. Make sure the S looks like an S, and then you can just go back over it. Make sure it's thick or neat. Um, you, let's see, Chris. Chris. Okay. So now I'm just going to go over it because I want it a little bit thicker so whoever's getting this could see it. <laughs> Okay, and then we let it dry. Now I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do, what I, how I'm going to back it up. So this is McKenna, and her favorite color is pink and blue and purple kind of thing. So that's why I put those colors. Um, she does like lighter blue, but I thought the dark purple, the dark blue matched with the purple, but we'll see. So what you're going to do. You don't have to have fancy cutter. You could easily paper cutter or trimmer. You could just cut it on your own. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to cut it to a smaller portion. That way I don't have to have all that blank space. And I just basically cut it to the edge. Maybe a little bit right there. Now, we're going to glue it into onto the pink paper, and you could use whatever glue you have. Um, I like glue sticks because they, they're not bumpy, but since this is stick paper, I think I am going to um, use regular white glue. I'm sure you guys have that one. That one's easy to find. If I could get it to come out... <laughs> Okay, and I'm just going to put the 
border and then just swiggle in the middle put that to the side okay we're gonna flip it over make sure you have a border around all the sides well these those three sides before we cut the other sides now where's the cutter oh th there we go we're gonna cut this side first try to leave uh, the same size border Oops. and then this side There we go. And we have something super pretty to put on your wall. Awesome. And then I'll mat this one maybe with black or um, one of those colors. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy it. And if you do make these um, with your kids, tag me with Looney Ellie for kids. I want to see what you guys create, what pretty colors or how um how many colors and all that stuff, how it looks. Okay guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.